so this is sensing orientation in space. This is what the Wiimote does, but this, this is a design that works um, on the body in a wearable. And some of you might say, well, what if you turn your hand over? Now you've lost that ball. It's no longer contacting. Well, what you do is you just build another one. And why not quilt it? So if you go look at Hannah Panda Wilson's site, right now we're quilting every way we can think of of this design. And she's done crochet. Um, I've done embroidered. She's doing crochet, knitting, and we're, the idea is to take all the uh, textile techniques we know of and try one motif, one sensing thing, so we can compare them all. Uh, well, speaking of embroidery machines, uh, this was done at Tech Shop. In fact, all the laser cutting, uh, well, everything that looks neat and tidy uh, was done on a um, laser cutter at Tech Shop. These fabrics cut beautifully, and it's actually preferable than scissors because your enemy on the really conductive fabric is fraying because all the little threads are conductors and will short circuits out where you, where you don't want them. But when you laser cut, most of these are nylon or polyester, um, it makes a beautiful melted edge and seals it for you. So Tech Shop has a embroidery machine, so you make a design, put it on a USB key, put it on the machine, and all you have to do is change the thread colors. And on this one I've got uh, colors I just chose for the appearance on one side. On the other side I used a conductive um, thread that's specially made for embroidery. And then on top of that is the same old gray fabric. So when I'm done with the electronics, and then this lot sits on the conductive, so I've got the keyboard controller now, but unlike a regular keyboard, with the right electronics, I should be able to get distance off the key, position along the key, and pressure. So there's three values for every key.